So in Skull and Bones, we are going to be looking at commodities because I did a video recently about earning a lot of silver very quickly. And quite a few people have left comments saying that the person's moved, they're not at the outpost I suggested. So I thought I'd go through and explain to you guys exactly how you can sell your commodities, the best places to go to sell them and how to make a lot of money. So if we go to our map, it's a very simple thing. If we have a look, like down here in the open seas, you've got the uh, Compagnie Royale, you've got Rogues and the Dutch Merchant Company. If we zoom in to Dutchman's camp, you're going to see there's a smuggler camp and a rogues makeshift camp. Every single 24 hours, every day at 2 a.m. in the UK, these are going to change. So for an example, over at Carl Mangrove, there is currently a corrupt Compagnie camp. But as soon as it hits 2 a.m., that person might disappear. So if we come back over to the Dutchman's camp, but we hover over the zone instead of over the actual outpost, you'll see it comes up with a list, highest in demand. So this zone in the game wants porcelain, cannon powder, firearms, and then the other two items as well. And you'll also see for the bottom two, they have a specific faction. So for the Dutch, you want to try and sell to the Compagnie. For the Compagnie, you want to try and sell to the Dutch. And then what you can do as well, instead of highest in demand, if we come over here, you'll see in plentiful supply. So Lamber Cloth, they're going to have lots and lots of supply of the outposts in that zone. So for an example, coming to the Dutchman's camp, I've just bought a load of wine. And then if we have a look over this region, the highest in demand, there is brandy and wine on that list. So any outposts in this zone, there is a bigger chance. It's not a guarantee. But there is a bigger chance that either the smugglers, so the people that stand there on the shore, either those or the camps that you may find in the outposts, there is a bigger chance that they will want the stuff that you have. So if we back out, I'm currently at the necropolis, which is in that zone, and we come to the overseas smuggler, we talk to them. These people are oftentimes going to sell you things as well. So check all of the vendors if you're out on a commodity run trying to make money. But you'll see here that they are going to buy wine. It's not for a massive profit. There's no green up arrows because with this, you want to buy when there's green down arrows and you want to sell when there's green up. If there's a red arrow there, you want to ignore it because you're going to buy for more money and you're going to sell for less. So your profit is when there are green arrows. So here with Brandy, I paid a lot less than 366 silver. But when I do sell it, that's what I'm going to get. So selling nine is going to give me 32.94. And that's just from the guy that's standing down at the shore. So if we go and we have a look for the smokestacks to find the camps, if you find a, a like an officer or a rogue trader or a leader, they are going to be the people you want to talk to. So if we talk to this person here, we go to Let's Trade, you can see they've got resources that are a good time to buy because they've got the green down arrows. And then unfortunately, they are not wanting the wine for a profit for us. So I'm going to buy all of this stuff. And then what we're going to do is we are going to try and find somewhere else that wants the wine that we have. So unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone that was interested in the wine to make me a profit. So I'm going to have to wait until 2 a.m. and then hope and pray that there are different camps set up in the outposts, like one that's actually got an interest in the stuff. But on this outpost we're at now, you'll see that I can sell this stuff for a nice little profit. And they also want uncut rubies, but they are like, I need those for a quest, so I'm not going to sell those. And what you are looking for to improve your chances of there actually being someone that wants them for a profit is when you're hovering over these, you're looking for the different camps and stuff. I would highly recommend like trying to stick with the Compagnie and the Dutch. And then you'll see here at Car Mangrove, there's a corrupt Compagnie camp. And then over here on the right hand side at the Forgotten Candy, there's a corrupt DMC camp. They're going to be your best bets for making a profit. So it's all about just getting your hands on as many cheap commodities as you can. If you can't sell them at the current time you're trying to, then just stick them in your cargo and just check the next day to see if there is an outpost that wants them. And you're trying to buy them as cheap as you possibly can. So preferably with a double down arrow. And then you're trying to sell them for as much as you can, like to get the biggest amount of profits as a double up arrow. And that's all you've got to do to understand the commodities and how to sell them for the best price, the best places and stuff to sell them in Skull and Bones. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the silver farms and making your profit and everything in the game in the comments. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.